Good morning to one and all. I am Amni Vibin from 4A and today I am going to narrate a story of the potatoes, eggs and the coffee beans. Once upon a time, a daughter complained to her father that her life was miserable. She didn't know how she was going to make it. She was tired of fighting and struggling all the time. It just seemed after one problem was solved, another one soon followed. Her father, a chef, took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and put it on high fire. He, when the water, water started to boil, he filled potatoes in the first pot eggs in the second pot and ground coffee beans in the third pot. He let them sit and boil without saying a single word to his daughter. His daughter moaned and impatiently waited, wondering what her father was doing. After 20 minutes, he turned off the burners, he took the potatoes and placed it in a bowl. He then pulled the eggs and placed it in a bowl. Then he lathered the coffee and placed it in a bowl. Turning it to his daughter, he asked, Daughter, what do you see? Potatoes, eggs and coffee, she hastily replied. Look closer and touch the potatoes, he said. She did and noted that they were soft. He then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling out the shell, she observed the hard boiled egg. Finally, he asked her to take a sip of, of the coffee. Its a rich aroma brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean? she asked. He then explained that the potatoes, eggs and the coffee beans had faced the same adversity, the boiling water. However, they, each, each of them reacted differently. The potatoes went in hard and strong, but in the boiling water, it became soft and weak. The uh, egg was fragile, but in the boiling water, it became hard. However, the coffee beans were unique. It changed into something new. Which one are you? When adversity knocks at your door, how do you respond? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? Something to think about. Thank you. If you love this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.